Hi, it's Cathy Andronicu here with a floral painted t-shirt tutorial. I'll be showing you how to decorate this white t-shirt. To begin, take a plain white t-shirt. I bought this one in a local supermarket. Stretch it over a stamping pad and you're now ready to begin. We will be using Memento Lux Tuxedo Black Ink and the Penny Black Stamps Charming and Softly. Take the softly stamp and partially ink using the Memento Lux black ink. Stamp onto the t-shirt and press firmly to make sure that you get a good impression. Repeat this process all the way around the neck of the t-shirt. Now to extend the pattern I'm using the charming stamp, again inking it up with Memento Tuxedo Black Lux ink. Stamp several times onto the front of the t-shirt. Use a Faber-Cassell Pitt Black pen to extend the lines of some of the flowers and stems where you have stamped so that they all join up. To have done this, iron the t-shirt to set the ink. Next, take the promenade stencil and we're going to now colour in the leaves and flowers. I'm using some curved masking tape to mask off the flowers initially. Position the stencil over the stamped image and hold into place with some tape. Take the Memento Lux Pear Tart ink and a sponge dauber. Apply the ink to the t-shirt using a twisting motion. That way the ink will get through into all the areas of the leaves as you go along. Repeat the process again using the flower dance stencil until you have covered all the leaves. Once you have done all the leaves, iron set them. Then take Memento Lux in Dandelion, Angel Pink and Bahama Blue and repeat the process with the flowers. Once all the flowers are coloured in, iron set again. We're now ready to add some shading. I'm going to use Sukuniku's All Purpose Ink this one is cherry pink. I put a small amount of ink in the centre of the flower and then add some water to spread out and blend with the base colour. Next use wisteria. Then tangerine on the yellow flowers. Time on the leaves, remembering to blend into the base colour using water. You don't need much, it will blend quite easily. And finally add some champagne mist to give a little bit of shimmer to the centre of some of the flowers. Once you have completed this, you can then leave to dry and iron set. The project is now complete. Here is a full list of the supplies used. Thank you for watching. For further inspiration, please visit my blog at candronicucardcraft.blogspot.co.uk.